name is Michael. I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Pass Movement Foundation. And today we will talk about the March prophecy. Before we start, let me say hello in the chat. Let's see if the connection will be there. Yes, we are online. Brothers and sisters, please join the chat room. Come forward. Let us talk about the month of March. In the month of February, we were talking about we were talking about rooting, that the roots will take place into the fertile soil of heaven, so that we receive the nourishment of the Holy Spirit, and that we know what we have to do, how to bring in the harvest of the ages, and how to go forth into the neighborhoods to lift up the needy, the nameless, and faces, how to become true powerful warriors of the Lord, and how to become the church of the firstborn. Because our body is the temple, and we have to take out all the thieves and robbers that are in there. We have to come out of the world and out of Babylon. Brothers and sisters now, in the month of February was the month of rooting. Then in March now, the prophecy is that everything will spring forth. In the month of March, we will see the first green plants coming up. The first green plants, the first dwelling places of Zion will be established. The people will be woken up by the Holy Spirit in the month of March, and they will be guided onto the narrow and righteous path that will lead them towards, towards the holy mountain, towards Mount Zion. It's also the month of giving birth. Everything new will come forth in this month of March, and you will become a new creation. You will be newly born onto the new path, and you will be born as the church of the firstborn. You will be the royal priesthood. You will be the powerful warriors that will take the battle to the gates. The month of March is your manifestation of this, giving birth. The, the child for the end times will be born. The man child will be born. The month of March, everything will spring forth. That also means if you're waiting for something, that this will spring forth in the months of March. Resources, provisions that you need to do this step, to do it for the heavenly kingdom, will spring forth. It will not spring forth if your intention is to be remain in the world and to use the resources for worldly pleasures. Then you will receive nothing. But if you will use your resources and share your resources for kingdom purposes, then in the month of March you will be blessed abundantly. The Lord is telling you that in the month of March, everything will start. This is the starting point, the month of March. The first green plant comes out. And we are getting prepared to come together as a unified body of Christ. People will see the truth. People will join together. People will come forth. And they will build groups. They will build camps of the army of the Lord. And these camps will then be connected together in the great assembly, the commonwealth of God. If you do not understand what I'm talking about, go to my video about Hebrews 10 and Hebrews 12. Everything will be explained to you there. Brothers and sisters, the months of marches our months of coming forth, our months of being shown. This is also the month where your light will be seen, where you will speak wisdom and truth of the Lord to the people. And the people will understand and say, there is truth inside. And this is our path that we have to walk together. And do not forget, brothers and sisters, that we walk this path as the most humble warriors and as a equal warriors. Nobody will be elevated. Nobody has more wisdom than the other one. We all have our puzzle piece and we will put it together so that we form a great end time image. Brothers and sisters, here at Triple Grace, we will help you to spring forth in the months of March. We will help you to bring forth your first green plant, to establish a dwelling place of Zion, what is an assembly of love and righteousness in your houses, in your apartments and in your neighborhoods, so that you can gather in the harvest of the ages, can train and teach them and go with them together in the neighborhoods to lift up the needy, the nameless and faceless to show forth the example of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, to be a true bride and as a true bride, a true copy of our Lord for all to see. And through your glorious 
examples, people will be drawn to your light and they will come and join and your dwelling places will expand and you will establish more and more because you remember not more than 50 members in one dwelling place of Zion. So you will establish more and more dwelling places who will then come all together into one great unit, into the great assembly of heaven, into the common worlds of God. And there we can support, can we, there we can support one another, we can share resources, we can assist everybody. So now, brothers and sisters, in this month of March, you are called forth to spring forth, to take your high positions, to become an eagle, to, to be now the powerful warriors of the Lord and to be more than ready to take the battle to the gates. It is your spiritual birth, brothers and sisters, in this month of March. It is your coming forth for the glory of the kingdom. It is your coming forth to declare independence from the world and from Babylon. It is your time to show yourself and say, yes, I will take a stand against the evil flood. I will not fall into the trap of the Antichrist and the Antichrist will not get me down. But I will walk that narrow and righteous path through the new wilderness towards Mount Zion. And there I will be raptured into paradise. Why? Because my name is written in heaven. Because I am part of the church of the firstborn. The people who awake up first. The people of the eastern camp who will move out first. The people who receive first the understanding. And then set forth an example for all the others to see, to follow. This is the eastern camp of the army of the Lord. This is the church of the firstborn. These are the harvest workers. And from this church of the firstborn, at the sixth seal, 144,000 will be sealed to continue at the trumpet tribulations. Brothers and sisters, we are now in the sealed tribulations. And this month of March, everything will spring forth. And we will come together in a great unity. The Lord will wake all of these powerful warriors up who will be part of it and they will all come and register at our official worldwide registry of powerful warriors. A link is in the first pin comment. Brothers and sisters, the month of March, expect blessings if you want to use the resources for the heavenly kingdom. As I always say, if you are not able right now to go into your neighborhoods in person to lift up the people there, then you can always do it by, by sharing your resources with us with Triple Grace so that we can build dwelling places of Zion in places of Africa and Asia where people have no money. Well, you can help us to build the headquarters of the Commonwealth of God. There is a link also in the comment box. Go there and check it in the description box too. Check it out, what will the headquarters will be. Support, share, let your light shine, spring forth in the month of March. And the Lord will bless you not only with resources and provision, but he will also bless you with dreams and visions. And he will bless you with the Holy Spirit that will fall on you. Because this is a month of awakening. This is a month of coming forth. You, the green plants you will see. More dwelling places will be put forth in the registries in the month of March. And then you will see that we are growing and you can join and you can also spring forth. The Lord will help you in all your ways. Praise God. Praise the Father. Praise Jesus Christ. Praise the Holy Spirit that he will come to take away the will from your eyes. Brothers and sisters, this month of March is your awakening and your blessings. If you want to stand for the Lord and for the heavenly kingdom. Do not think that if you remain in the world, that blessings will come. Do not think that you, if you remain in the beast system with Satan, for your careers, for your riches, for your worldly things, that you will get blessed. The other side will receive nothing. Only the side who will work for the heavenly kingdom to bring in the harvest and to be part of the church of the firstborn will receive the blessing in the month of March. Be ready, brothers and sisters, to receive abundantly and to spring forth and to let your light shine in your neighborhoods and to gather in the harvest of the ages. Let us bring together as many people as possible to righteousness so that the spirit of just man made perfect can stand at Mount Zion. 
as it is written in Hebrews 12, 22 to 24. Brothers and sisters, this is the time of Daniel 12, 3, where we should bring many people to righteousness. And also of Daniel 12, 1, where our commander-in-chief, the Archangel Michael, will stand up for his people. And who are his people? Spiritual Israel. And spiritual Israel, this is us. We are spiritual Israel and we are the church of the firstborn. The people who will build the dwelling places and gather the people together. The shepherds and elders of this end time movement of the Lord, of the new heavenly concept. In the month of March, brothers and sisters, is your month of uniting, coming together, springing forth, giving birth. Everything what you have ever dreamed about will come true. And this is the timing. Do not be afraid around you. If you are focusing on the Lord, and if you are willing to walk with Him wherever He goes, and if you are abiding in Him, and if you have repented your sins, and have come out of the world and out of Babylon, you do not have to be afraid of anything. Because your name is written in heaven, and you will reach Mount Zion, and there you will be raptured into paradise. This I promise you here. But if you are still in the world, and belong to the lukewarm churches, the false preachers and teachers, then you will receive nothing in the month of March, only problems, only agitations, only fear. But with us walk together on that path towards the holy mountain and you will receive the blessings of the Lord. Brothers and sisters, join us, become a powerful warrior, sign up in the first pin comment, go to the registry, let your light shine so that other people can connect to you and can share with you that they can come into support with one another, that we can build these safe havens of the Lord, that we can prepare for the time in the latest three, three and a half years when the Antichrist is in full swing and power, that we are protected by the Lord. Many videos I have put up that describe the situation, what will happen and how the Lord will protect us, even in cases of tsunamis. Go to my video about the tsunami and have a look. Brothers and sisters, a new format is coming up today. This is a format of the truth and wisdom of God, the reading from the Book of Love. It's very interesting. Go there. You will not see my face because you should concentrate on the words there. So I pray that you have a blessed march, a march of springing forth, a march of giving birth, a march of awakening, a march of heavenly dreams and vision and heavenly encounters, a march that the, the the Holy Spirit will fall onto you and fills you and that you are ready to walk with us together and be part of the Eastern camp of the army of the Lord. Brothers and sisters, this is a march you will not forget. A march of blessing and provisions, of understanding and of coming together into a greater unity of the body of Christ. Brothers and sisters, be blessed in the Lord and I hope I could tell you and put forth a prophecy what will happen in March. Stand on the right side, on the side of heaven only, so that you can receive the blessing. Do not be part of the world system, and then you receive only problems, fears, and anger. This is a time now to stand for heaven alone. This is a time now to return to your first love, to God the Father. And this is a time now to stand with your bridegroom, with Jesus Christ, and walk with him wherever he goes. Have a blessed day in the Lord. Maranatha.